What's happening? We only just got back and already there's a delusion eating away at reality right in front of us. Okay, cool. Time to go home. What are you saying? We need to investigate this right away. Ah, uh, wait! Come on, Asahi. We're here anyway. We really should look into this. Ah, uh, but I'm so tired. Hm? Who's there? I'm so tired of hearing things. Any way you slice it, it's a delusion creeping its way into reality. But what do we do? Do we just go in? No, we go home. I'm at my limit here. If I see a Delusion coming my way, I'm using it as a pillow. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even think of how exhausted you must be. Don't apologize to him. Only a neat would lose to petite, dainty girls like us in the stamina department. Stop trying to blame everything on me being a neat. You're the one who woke me up at the butt crack of dawn. Besides, I don't see any Delusionscape doors around anywhere, do you? Wait, are Delusionscape entrances that hard to find? Oh, that's right. We haven't really filled you in on how this works. Let me give you the short version. Delusionscape entrances only appear when the Deluser's heart is thrown out of balance. So our job is to figure out who our Deluser is and rattle their cage a little, so to speak. Oh, I see now. That's why you guys were looking for me before, too, then. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Ryu. I didn't mean to stir up any painful memories. Not at all. I'm feeling good about working with you now. So no hard feelings. I'm A-OK. -okay. Hate to interrupt the bonding moment, but there's no door, no way to progress, and no reason we shouldn't go home. <sighs> huh? Oh, come on. You can't be serious. No way! Is this the door you were just discussing? Wh why What kind of cruel timing is that? Well, that spares us the trouble of looking for our Deluser. Might as well go in while we're here, right? No! I'm going home! No, we're going in! Home! I said we're going in! I said we're going home! Um, I, uh, I hate to bother you, but... My last train home will be leaving the station really soon. Oh, wow. It really has gotten late. I suppose we should call it a night after all. Ha! I win. Yeah, yeah. How about we meet at noon tomorrow? That's fine by me. Good work today, both of you. Very, very good work. Thanks. Rest well tonight, Ryu. You really earned it. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, don't I get any say in this? No. You have no veto rights here. It's our solemn duty to nullify delusions. Our calling, if you will. Which means I expect you not to be late tomorrow, all right? I'm putting, dare I say, some faith in you here. Now come on, Ryu. Let's go home. Yes, ma'am. But noon? Ugh, oh, I hate early mornings. Huh? Dude, I can totally hear you scrambling around. Show yourself! Hey, it's Goggles. What's up? Were you here this whole time? Uh, um, well... Mippity Mop's delusion is long gone, but you're still in that getup? You must be a fan of hers from way back. Oh, yes, I am. Mippity was looking for you, you know. What? R really? Really, really. I can't believe it. Th that makes me very happy. But please, don't tell her you saw me, okay? Why not? I think it's best if I cheer her on from the shadows. I just want to be one fan of many. Kinda creepy, but I get you. Don't worry, I won't tell. Promise. Thank you very much. And good night. At last, I can head home. Wait for me, bed. I'll be in your loving embrace before you know it. Why?
Finally! I am so beat right now. Who the hell even gets up at noon? If I want to sleep in, I'm gonna sleep in, thank you very much. Though, if I do, she's just going to come crashing through my door again. <sighs> I guess this is my life now. Might as well send Mizuki my nightly pre-bed message. Or not so nightly. Crap, I completely forgot to send him anything yesterday and he sent me something. Oh well, it should be fine, given the whole time loop thing. He won't remember a thing, so no consequences for me. I just feel so bad cutting him off like this. We've been friends forever. But at least this way he won't spend his day off waiting around for me. Sorry, man. I swear I'll make it up to you one of these Sundays. But tonight, I sleep. Good night. Yo. Well, if it isn't Asahi, good morning. What's the excuse today? It's the strangest thing, actually. I woke up bright and early, but then I woke up again and I was late. This isn't the first time I've heard of that phenomenon. It's called sleeping in. <laughs> it might make you late, but it sure is nice, isn't it? See? Even Mippity is no match for the might of the sleep in. Its pull is irresistible. Plus, your meeting time was simply way too early. Noon is not a suitable time for sane people. It's practically dawn. If I complied with your neat standards, each day would be over before it began. Plus, Asahi, I do like sleeping in, but only on my days off. On work days, I always wake up extra early. No, Mippity Mop can't be my enemy. You were supposed to back me up on this. Needless to say, I think it's time we head into the delusionscape. Yeah, I'm not sure how much help I'll be, but I'll do my very, very best. You ready to go too, Asahi? No. Do I get to go home if I say that? <sighs> I don't know why I asked. You're going in if I have to drag you with me. I feel like something's about to happen. Come on, let's see what. To them. Is, uh, something wrong? What? Did I say something? Out loud? Yes. Yes, you did. You said you won't lose to them. Oh, I said that, huh? Well, this place is the main headquarters for ACQ48, you know. Okay, and? I really wanted to go to their next concert, but they're so popular that the tickets sold out before I could get one. Just once, I wish I could see what they're really like on stage. What about cancellations? You could try to buy a ticket off of somebody who's not going. Not too uncommon for something unexpected to keep a person from going to an event like that, after all. That's a good point. There might even be a few people around trying to scalp their tickets right now. I should look. Sounds good. I'll come with. Headed into the delusion scape? gonna do? It wasn't easy getting this ticket. Hey, Ryu, that dude might be just the ticket to getting you a ticket. Okay, I'll ask him. Excuse me, um, you wouldn't happen to have a ticket to the ACQ48 show, would you? Huh? How'd you know? I just had a feeling, and I also have a feeling you're not able to go anymore. Am I right? Uh, Ride as rain? How the hell? <laughs> we'll just call it idle power. So, um, since you're not going to be using it, would you mind maybe letting me have your ticket? Well, I mean, it's true I can't go, but I could probably make a pretty yenny on this if I hopped it. <sighs> That's what I thought. Oh well. Hmm. Mm, wait, I've got an idea. 
you're an ACQ48 fan yourself, right? So maybe you've got some rare goods or something that you can trade me for it? Rare goods? Yeah, you know, hard to find stuff. Signed CDs, photos from live performances, that kind of thing. If you've got anything like that, I'd be glad to give you my ticket in exchange, depending on what it is. I see, but mm, I don't really think I have anything like that to give you. Well, if you find something, you know where to find me. My favorite girl is Kyoko Okachimachi, incidentally. So get me some rare stuff of hers, and the ticket will fly out of my hand so fast it'll be a sonic boom! Masahi, this is hopeless. Keep your chin up, Ryu. All we have to do is find some rare goods, right? How hard can that be? Huh? This is Akiba. Its cup runneth over with fans who have spare merch from all their favorite fandoms. Oh, you know what? You're right! Damn straight I am! Now let's go hunt down something good. What's your angle, little missy? You trying to sell me something? Oh, no! Actually, I've got something I want to ask you. Something you... want to ask... me? I know this is kind of sudden, but... You wouldn't happen to have any rare Kyoko Kachimachi memorabilia, would you? Oh, Kyo stuff? Yeah, I got some. A ton of it, even. Got an out-of-print first-run photo book. Five of them, in fact. And every one of them signed. S seriously? That's all right. Would you be willing to sell me just one of them? No, 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 no. They're all my babies. I could never part with any of them for mere cash. Aw, uh, really? But I might consider trading something for one of them. Huh? Yeah. See, lately, I've been more keen on Shoko Ueno than old Kyo. And since she only just joined ACQ48 not too long ago, there aren't a whole lot of Shoko goods on the market yet. So you find me something Shoko-tastic, and I'll trade you one of my Kyo classics. Until then, idol later away! Uh, what now? I think the answer to that's pretty obvious, Mitty. Huh? Think about it. What's easier to find? A new performer's anything or a signed photo book of a well-established idol? Oh, wow, you're right! This should be even easier to track down! Damn straight again! So let's go find us some Shoko Ueno goods, shall we? I guess they really aren't selling any, huh? Hey there, excuse me. Yes? I'm trying to find some rare Shoko Ueno merchandise and... Oh, Shoko, huh? I've got myself a photo book of hers, actually. It's good stuff. Really? Um, do you think you might be willing to part with it? Hmm. Well, she may be a new member, but she's still a member all the same. So I really don't think I can bring myself to give it up. Sorry. I'm not even a huge Shoko fan, but it's the principle, you know. Now, Haruko Ugui Sudani, she's the one for me. Well, that was disappointing. I'm sorry to have taken you on such a wild goose chase. No worries, it's all good. It seems like all we do is wander around talking to strangers, and I feel bad that I just made you do more of that. It's fine, really. It was a noble effort. Shall we, though? Okay. Let's go back, heads held high, and maybe try this again another day. Thanks for sticking with me, Asahi. Anytime. We should probably break the bad news to the guy outside the ACQ48 cafe, though. That we tried to find some good Kyoko Okachimachi goods, but just couldn't get our hands on any. Go 
girl from before. I'm really sorry. We checked everywhere, but there just weren't any rare Kyoko goods around. Yeah, they are hard to find, aren't they? We went all over looking for a way to get you something of hers. Jeez, you didn't have to do all that. I'm really impressed you took the time to, though. Sorry it was a bust. Oh no, it's quite all right. The thrill is in the hunt. Well, naturally, I can't just give you my ticket, but since you went to so much trouble, I'd like you to have this. Oh, it's... It's a candid shot of Haru Haru. Haru Haru? As in... Haruko Ugu Isudani. Which means... Yes! Huh? What are you two... Oh, oh, um, could you wait here for just a few minutes longer? Huh? Don't worry, we'll be right back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go. Wait, is this... How? These are totally photos of Kyoko and Kachimachi. Candid ones. <laughs> and the book is signed. <laughs> yep, we weren't messing around. Can you give me this? For just my ticket? Absolutely. A deal's a deal. Oh my god, thank you so much. Today started out as a bummer, but what a turnaround. You're the best. We did it, Bippity! Yes! We started from nothing and came out on top like the straw millionaire! Thank you so very much for all your help, Asahi! Think nothing of it. I'm surprised you're such a big fan of ACQ48, though. Huh? But I'm not. What? So what was this whole hunt all about, then? Oh! This is for research purposes. I'm always studying the way famous idols behave. The way they talk, their mannerisms, and all of that. You never know when I might have the chance to use any skills I steal from ACQ48 on my own adoring fans. So, uh, you've got a passion for study then, we'll say. So, what kind of delusion scape are we in now? It's so different from mine. Yeah, it's much darker. Kind of scary, and maybe a little sad as well. I look pretty spooky from the outside, too. Like a demon could pop out at any moment. Hey, question. Is there any connection between the place a delusion appears and the delusion itself? To an extent, yes. There's always some sort of affinity connecting the place and the idea. That's why mine appeared in a spot that holds a lot of idol events, huh? So is this one supposed to be some kind of anime, then? Anime? Why? Well, the delusion appeared right by an Animart, right? That's a specialty shop that deals in anime-related goods. So this is a scene from an anime, then? Any idea what show it might be from? Not a clue. It's kind of generic. Whatever it is, though, it's really, really chuny. Chuny? Explain your neat words! Oh, Chunibyo. Junior High Sickness. It's like half angels and half demons emerging through sacred doors and stuff. Yeah, exactly. People who are Chuni drink black coffee and listen to Western music, too. And, well, uh... And? Pretend they're in music videos. Ow! Come on, let's just get this over with. 